Greetings, everybody. It's DJ Adam Zero One Time coming to you from. That's right. Zero One Time News. And we have a great show for you today, as a matter of fact. A wonderful show. It's more about the news of this new world called DigiWorld. So I just went over there real quick and uh, I checked it out. And, uh, you know, right clicked a little bit, you know, checked out a profile and stuff. And uh, just giving my point of view. So, you know, let's uh let's pop over there and check it out, man. Greetings everybody and welcome to DigiWorld. Yeah. DigiWorld is a brand new launched uh grid, I believe. Uh one of the uh, founders uh, from uh, Third Rock. One of them guys has split off. One went over to Great Canadian Grid. Of course, you know, Terry went over there. And uh, I don't know this guy over here, so it doesn't really matter. We just say, hey, you know, the ex ever-expanding hypergrid universe. So I guess uh, this place launched... Uh, hmm. Well, no. Let's find out. When did they create this world? We'll go to world... A world, oh, about land, it would be about land, DigiWorld, and it was created February, this Thursday, February the 5th, that's right, that's when this, this parcel here was created, and over here, you see, you've got support sitting right over here, pull up his profile, Mark Weissman, who, uh, Obviously, has been a member here since uh, July 2013. One year and eight months old. Hmm. Okay. Okay. He's been a Digi member since July 2013. I guess this was either a private grid or somebody brought members... Uh... I, I don't know. Tell me. Mark, makes no sense. I mean, DigiWorld just opened up. Am I correct, Mark? Unless you were on your own hard drive and you had your own SIM and this is yours, right? Uh, man, I don't know. You guys are confusing. Uh, did you... Uh... <laughs> so it looks like the cool thing about DigiWorld is... You new pioneers coming over here and stuff will be able to uh, get a 15,000 prim sim uh, for $8. Uh, guess you'll be grandfathered right in. Otherwise, a standard sim is only 5,000 prims. I don't know. A 256 by 256, 5,000 prims, not enough for me. Uh, nowhere near enough. Uh, but, you know, it might be for some people. It might be a lot. But uh, I myself prefer up around uh, at least 30,000 prims for a 256 by 256. Uh, 15,000 would never be enough. It was never enough for me in, in Second Life either. So uh, that's the whole option of, uh, of coming out to the open world was to have more prims. But that doesn't mean you can't have more here. Oh, they got two by twos and they got more. I got stuff here. You can order it. You can get a custom one made here probably most likely. So, uh, you know, Check out DigiWorld. Let's check it out, man. There's not really much uh, to see here at the welcome area, but we can check out the About Discovery, and we'll slide on over here and check it out. Uh, let's see. Explore your cool items. Over to Kitely Marketplace. Shop online. Cool, cool, cool. That's great. That means you guys can make backups of your stuff. Because you're a grid owner, don't forget that. So buy your Kitely stuff and make your backup of it and make sure it's filtered out real good. Put it on your hard drive. Hypergrid visitors create their own local avatars. Cool sandboxes provide with a forward cleanup cycle. Hey, this is really cool stuff, you know. Uh, you know, what do you, it's probably, it's, it's, it seems very stable, you know. It seems very stable. It seems like a, a really cool place to come check out. Uh, you know, check it out. Hypergrid in here. Check it out if you want. I myself 
these are one of the, the actual grid owners that I trust. Uh, uh, you know, Cherry went over to Great Canadian, whatever this guy's name is, I forget, so excuse me, pardon me for forgetting your name. Uh, I'll look it up. Uh, does it really matter? You know, you uh, gave a professional quality service to Third Rock Grid for a long time. And uh, that's a good thing. So uh, what I trust bringing in my shape uh, and my uh, my own personal skin that's worth well over $100 to me. Uh, and drop it on your sim? Yeah, I probably would. I probably would. So, uh, would I drop it on somebody else's grid and leave it there? No, no, no. Not if they can back up an ore. But uh, that's not what it's about. It's about trusting you as the, uh, taking care of this place. So, good job. Way to go, DigiWorld. Keep up the great work. Well, everybody, that was that an intriguing place to go. That's a cool, very, very futuristic build. I think, uh, what the heck? You know, like I said, I... I trust these guys. They've been around a long time. They, they, they come from more of a, I call a family-oriented developer attitude. And uh, and really, everything I've ever did with Third Rock really believed in your privacy. So, uh, And that's where these guys, that's, that's where these guys come from. So I think it's a great thing. Get on over there. Uh, I will bring up one thing. I, I did note, that the gossip here. Let's hear some of this gossip. Uh, when uh, Third Rock started the uh, the Rob Stock, uh, I heard uh, this one particular person that uh, uh, that wanted, uh, you know, was really afraid that uh, Third Rock was being split and divided. And you know, I really didn't think of it that way. You know, I did think it was kind of a you know a hard thing. But you know, they they launched it and you know, what, February, and, you know, and Rob Stock was coming around, they were like, oh, my gosh, well, a lot of our people are leaving, and I'm like, you know what? People out here in the open sim world are travelers when they begin with. I mean, if you don't have at least six accounts, you're not even an open simmer. Come on, man, get for real. You know that. I know that. So, and, and, and leaving the HG door open for it, that's right, the HG door open for you, it's a cool thing because you know, you know, it's like Tom Bodeck will leave the light on for you. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, don't start that. I get this all the time from one grid to another grid. This, this, uh, this tension between, uh, you know, one grid's uh, selling land, the other grid, and there's this and that and this and that. I don't want to hear it. Go out there, throw your shingle up. Uh, give somebody an 800 number, they can give you a call. 800 numbers are a dime a dozen. Or a Google phone number or something, come on, they're free, you know, anywhere in this country. You know, somebody can actually call you and say, hey, look, you know, I bought something there, uh, PayPal, just some money, I didn't get it. You know, uh, you know, do something like that, you know. But that's cool. You know, that's the whole object, is trust and faith in that. Okay, coming up, don't forget, today's Wednesday. The HG Safari, HG Safari, and tomorrow is April Fool's Day. That's right. Don't get caught in it. Don't get caught. Wake up. Put a piece of tape on your mirror. I am so gullible. I, I'm the worst gullible in the world when it comes to people believing. I've had people come up to me and say, you know, you know, the Pope is green. You know, and I, oh my God, really? Well, you know, I haven't seen him every day. So, you know, remember that, man. You know, tomorrow is uh, April Fool's Day. And some people are very, very malicious when they do that. They're, they're out of hand. Uh, uh, one thing I really want to bring up is, uh, again, that uh, Little Phil Grid, turning two, it's a big deal. When you turn two, that's a cornerstone, you know? It's a big cornerstone of what's going on. You know, you've got people that have been out there doing it. Uh, Nara, Nara did that. Hypergrid Knights, look at that, look at that. Take a look at what Wizzy's doing and mine there's doing and all those wonderful blog people. They've been out there more than two years. They've been out there doing their thing. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to bring up Firestorm right now. Uh, I'm working on dealing with the latest Firestorm code. Uh, you know, it's been a, it's been kind of a hit and miss. The, this new HTTP piping and uh, 
uh, the the 64-bit library curls have been a real pain. A uh, 32-bit Linux has had a problem also with the new HTTP piping people. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I, I, I hear it from the, the models every day saying, you know, my my firestorm is slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Well, I can't. I don't have all the answers to that, but I do know that uh, Second Life Simulator is evolving <laughs> weekly. Seriously, it evolves weekly, and uh, so does their viewer. <laughs> their viewer evolves weekly, and a lot of that's got to do with security reasons and stuff. I'm not saying Firestorm's not secure. What I'm saying is sometimes things just don't quite work right, okay? Now, I'm not going to speak for the Windows viewer or the, or the Darwin viewer, Mac, whatever. I'm only going to speak for the Linux viewer because that's what I run and that's what I work with. I myself uh, have seen the corruption uh, from it. So, hey, you guys, another thing I want to bring up, and, uh, and then I'm going to call it a day, was this uh, German Wings. You know, I had some guy, some dude that came on there, and my G Plus was rude right off the bat and said, hey, you know, I didn't care about those families. No, I don't care about those families. Uh, I don't know those families. Do I have remorse? Yes. So p please don't ever put words in my mouth. If somebody says something to me, I don't care about them because I don't know them. You know, if, if you want to run this world, go, oh, I care. Here's what you really want to care about. The young pilot that the, everybody claims he did something, there's no proof, all right? The fact is, there should always be three people in the, in the pilot if there should be two people in that cockpit, always. The rules are, when you get up to go take a crap, which is obviously this guy did, or to use the bathroom, the door has to be locked, all right? The door has to be locked. Now, and it can only be unlocked from the inside. That's right, from the inside. Now, the flight box never heard one word from the young man. Worst scenario is, the kid had a seizure and passed away and died a young man. It's a bad thing. You know what? In the black box, it doesn't say that. I'm going to die, and I'm going to kill everybody with me. So, you know, he's, this guy has a family. He has everything. But I guarantee you, the propaganda machine is going to make this guy sound like he's a suicidal killer, freaked out everybody. If nobody, anybody watching this who has never ever been to a psychologist or a psychiatrist who's ever had depression... You, maybe you ought to go because you want to know what? You'll find out more about yourself and you'll probably become a better person. That's right. Do I agree with medicating? No, I don't agree with medicating. Sorry, I think there's other ways. There's exercises and other ways of doing it. Extreme cases need it. Now, I'm not going to say they don't. The fact is, this young man is dead also. And he has parents and he has sisters. And there's no proof that he did anything on purpose. The guy was well-known in the community. He was a wonderful long-distance runner. And he'd been part of the community he grew up with his whole life. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I had a great friend of mine die at the age of 30. He was never diagnosed glycoma, glyc glycosema, glycosemia, glycosemia. Driving home from work. Yes, and he was a semi-driver, too. Driving home from work after he'd parked his semi. Had a... Passed out. Just passed out. Pew. No drugs, no nothing. Passed out. Hit the back of a tow truck. He's dead. Okay? We're talking about a guy that was in perfect friggin' health. Furniture mover every day. Never knew it. Not even, not heavy. Great runner. A wonderful athlete. Boom. Die. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Propaganda is one thing. This machine is so bad. They're going to make this kid look terrible. The fact is... The people got on that airplane and they were killed by a company that did not do their work. Their real work was to make sure that there was somebody flying that plane at all times and not locked out and not locked out and making sure that there's two people in that cockpit at all times. We went through this back in 1968. This stuff's been cured. You want to know what? There's only one person. Since it's not mechanical damage, it's not mechanical, that means the insurance companies don't have to cough up. 
It means it all lies on that company. And I guarantee you, they're going to tear this kid up. He's going to make him look like the worst person on this world. When the fact is, it was the company that you got on that airplane that owned that thing. I'm out of here. G.J. Adams, zero one time. That's my thoughts. We're out of here.